Hello, Revere, and welcome to the Revere Veterans and Community Show. You see the logo behind me? That was designed by Sergio Leone. And today I have a special guest that came all the way from East Boston. Her name is Sherry Raftery. She is oh, so many things, I'm going to let her explain that. So, <laughs> Sherry, first of all, let me welcome oh, you to the show. Thank you. It's great to be here. And Thanks before we start the show, we usually give this a special guest, and you oh, are a special well, guest. This was donated by Stop and Shop and the Revere Fire and Police Department to give to special people. And what there you honor. go. Thank you. I appreciate that. And you are a special I'm person. I'm going to wave this flag. Right. Proudly. Thank you so much. That's now, before we went on the air, you spoke that you loved little Shirley Temple when you oh, were growing up. Oh, my goodness, up. yes. Start explaining oh, that Oh, Shirley. Us. Shirley was my role model. She's the 1930 star, as many of you know. She sang and danced her way through foster homes, group homes. And I can identify with that as a former little wanderer for the Home for Little Wanderers. I'm kind of sad that I didn't get a chance to reach out to her. I was hoping that one day to make a connection with her. But she was pretty phenomenal. And for me, uh, I was able to model my life in, with how I saw her live because, um, you know, it's, it's tough. Like, a lot of people would say, oh, my hero was somebody with a cape or that could fly through the air, like, a, or Spider-Man. And for me, it was Shirley Temple because it was, she was in real life, you know, situations where she was abandoned and is the way she handled it was through humor and uh, so that's I feel like that that's she was my hero the Shirley first Temple. movie I saw her Shirley uh, Temple was called the little princess the little princess yep, yeah I think 1933 or 34 yeah, yeah. and on the good ship of lollipop Captain yep. January Heidi she she was amazing <laughs> and also she had a good dancer with I believe Paul Robeson yeah yeah yep. yeah very good <laughs> beautiful would you like to say anything else about little Shirley just so that, again, I think that she was a role model for me growing up, and I'm sure that she was a role model for some who are yeah. orphans like me. She, I think she just passed away recently. She did pass away. Yeah. Yep. Very sad. Right. My next question to you is, uh, we're going to be bouncing around here yes. because you have so many accolades. I mean, <laughs> this is only a half an hour show. We could go a month. <laughs> you also work at the East Boston Chamber of Commerce. Tell us about that. I do. I work at the East Boston Chamber of Commerce. Many of our chamber members are actually also from Revere, so we have Revere members as well. And at the chamber, we are promoting businesses. We're having events, networking. It's pretty amazing. It's a great position. I love it. I've been there since March. 2012, so it'll be my second year. Actually, I think today is my second year there. Right. My anniversary date is today. Is it? Watch Congratulations. That. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I actually started because of Diane Modica. She was the, oh, she's the outgoing president. And I knew Diane back when she was in, uh, actually, law school. I worked as an intern for her boyfriend at the time for T Catalyst. I went to Emerson College and he and he had a PR firm and that was my minor. So I, I reached out and I found him and, and he hired me and they liked me so much that they didn't just hire me as an intern, like as a volunteer for a few days a week. Then they wanted to hire me to be paid a few days a week. And then when I graduated they hired me. And and that's pretty amazing. So I've had a long term relationship with them. They've been my mentors since well well beyond so many years that maybe I don't want to reveal how many but <laughs> But a few yeah. years. Yeah, anyway. yeah, a few years. Now I have something else <laughs> for you. Last year we had the Columbus Day Parade. You were a great part of it. You and Buddy Thank Mangini you. were the ones that helped to organize the thing. And I got to tell you, beside all the others that pitched in to help you and Buddy, Thank you. you did a fabulous Thank job, you. so Thank I'll you. shake your hand such, again. It was a pleasure, and I think we were able to come on your show, and that's how I was able to reconnect with you. You, inter inter you interviewed us. That's right, but there was something else that happened on our show that that's, day when yeah, you came on. That's true. We didn't know each other. That w Excuse me, folks, this is going to be <laughs> funny English. <laughs> we didn't know each other that we knew each other. That's right. That's Am I right. right on that? That's correct. That's a good way to put it. <laughs> because you used to come over my house when right. you were five, six, seven, yes. and eight and play with my late son. That's right. I used to uh, live on North Shore Road in Revere. And my front door was on North Shore Road, but my back door was on Standish Road, which is your house, and your, where your house is six houses away from mine. And Barry and I went to the Walcott School, which is no longer there. Right. And we've been, we were classmates from me from first to fifth grade, and then I left. But Mrs. Francine Cook was my our teacher. She was Francine Hillman Cook. That's yeah, right. Yeah, Hillman Cook. Yeah, she's awesome. Awesome. And Everybody parents, still loves yep, her. her parents lived, lived on Standish Road. Well, we used right. to have cookouts in the backyard. She was so good to us. She even started a newsletter for us, or oh, actually a yearbook, a fourth grade yearbook. This is before like yearbooks would have been created, but in fourth grade with that purple, you know how you, they would do the 
in order to make a copy. It was yeah, they had <laughs> purple. A, it was machine. purple. Yes, they the machine. And she, what she did was she stapled together all these, and she asked us different questions. And I was the best dancer with Michael Littlefield. And Barry and I, were, this is funny, you're going to laugh. But Barry and I, we, Barry was supposed to be the cameraman, and I was going to be the commentator. That's what we were eventually, when we grew up, that was what we were going to be, as, as her predictions were. <laughs> so I, <laughs> there you go. Good. Because that's pr very, very interesting. Yeah. Also, when you came on the show with Buddy Mangini, yeah. we did not know that we knew each other at the right, time. Right, right. Until you started mentioning when the I schools, said, yeah. and I mentioned Morris, and then you looked at me sort of kind of with a funny look. Yeah. Not because I looked funny, but you gave me a funny <laughs> <laughs> well, when you say the name Barry, I am Barry Mars. I right. mean, that's that's like obviously okay. that would be that, that was yeah. a dead giveaway. Because he was my b best friend growing okay. up. So yeah. <laughs> also, <laughs> I want you to speak about this because this is very good. Oh. You are an ambassador yeah. for Little Wanderers. So yeah. tell us something about well, that. Well, I'm on the board of ambassador just to the Home for Little Wanderers. I speak out of events, raising funds and awareness. It's a way for me to give back to an organization that gave so much to me. And so I try to raise money and I attend events. So I'm on, like I said, I'm on the board of ambassadors to the Home for Little Wanderers. Right. And do the Little Wanderers, do they need anything that people can donate to? Oh, absolutely. They're always what looking for help. <laughs> well, there could be, there's tons of ways to help the home. You can also go to the website, www.thehome.org, and they're always looking for donations, whether it's uh, f fiduciary, it could be uh, socks, it could be reading to the kids, you can volunteer at the, they have 20 organizations. I lived at the girls' group home back in the day, and that was the it was called Orchard Home. My brother lived at Longview Farm in Walpole, and now they have the farm. Longview Farm is one of the where all the kids live now. So, yeah, there's many many ways to uh, volunteer for the home, and I hope you can. And That's good. So, any to, of you yeah. people out there, get a hold of Sherry <laughs> and help her. And by the way, you yeah. also do some beautiful public speaking too. I Sherry. do. I do public speaking. Yes, I. <laughs> So I have my own public speaking that I'm trying to build. It's called Helping You Take Center Stage. And I believe that the more you take center stage, the better your public speaking leaderships become. And I go to events and I go to organizations and I give them public speaking tips. So if you are interested in learning about that and learning public speaking tips, then I can come and see you. Good. <laughs> Sherry, I like to show the people. I don't know if, th if this can be put up. Oh, okay. But this is a picture of you when you were... About but nine years? I was in fourth grade, Mrs. Cook's fourth grade class. So how old were you on this? Uh, probably about nine, as you said. Yeah. Now, I'm going to show you. I don't have any baby pictures of me, so having a picture of me from my past is, is a pretty, pretty big deal for me. It is. Because I don't have any because pictures. Because I remember you at this Yeah, picture. that's me. That Sergio, if you could get a picture <laughs> of this blow up right here. I haven't changed a bit. That's Sherry up there where she was nine or ten years old. Yep, yep. <laughs> You still look the same, Sherry. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I still act the same, too. Yes. We asked you to talk about the family, but, uh, I mean, you say you don't want to. Uh, don't get into too, too yeah, specifically yeah. about it. Okay. But what made the state want to adopt you, if I may, if I may uh, ask Well, you? I was never adopted, actually. I'm trying to write a children's book called Almost Adopted. Oh, you never were adopted. I never got adopted. I was almost adopted, and not just from you, but from other other families. I probably lived in about seven different families. So I moved around a lot. I was in, I also lived at Nazareth, which was in Jamaica Plain, run by, it was run by nuns and, and right. priests, fathers, and so I lived there. Was and that on Huntington Avenue? Uh, that, that, no, it's actually on Pond Street. Is that it's a beautiful VA property. Hospital? That was the home for little wanderers that moved. Oh, okay. It was on Huntington Ave. Right. But uh, Nazareth is also, it was like, uh, kind of like an orphanage. It's for Kids who are like, still in existence today? Uh, they closed down in 1985, but they kept our records, and I think that's pretty phenomenal. I was able to get my records back then and from back th those days, and I got to learn a little bit of things that I didn't really know. But yeah, so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm writing a children's book, and I'm writing, I want to write a series of children's books, you know, about foster care. And yep. another book that I'm work that I worked on already is called I Love You, The Yellowest, and I wrote this for my daughter when I was in grad school at Endicott College getting my master's in education. Right, I was going to ask you, tell us about your yeah, education. I certainly will. <laughs> go, go ahead, be my guest. So, so, yeah, so I went to Endicott for my master's in education, and I went to Emerson for my bachelor's in science for theater and communications. 
But this book I'm writing, uh, that I, it's called The I Love You, The Yellowest, it's based on a book that my daughter brought home when she was in preschool called I Love You, The Purplest. <laughs> so it's about, uh, by, by Barbara Bo Jose, and her, she, she has two sons, and they each want to know who she loves the most. And so the way she describes how she loves them in color, so one in the color blue and one in the color red and if you put red and blue together it's purple i love you the purples so i thought oh that's pretty brilliant so i wrote one for my daughter called i love you the yellowest and she's actually going to do the illustrations which is pretty cool that she's old enough now that she could be a contributor to this well what's her name you never sabrina raftery she's 16 and she just got her permit on monday so she's driving my car now and <laughs> i don't know if i'll ever see it again but she's you know she's permission i'm taking her out around to learn how to drive and that wasn't her driving down 100 miles an hour. <laughs> That'll be her in six months. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty good. She's, she's got those coordination skills. You know, we talked about, okay, we talked about the Columbus Day Parade in Revere. Yeah. But you and Buddy are now setting up the Columbus Day Parade That's in correct. East Boston. That's correct. We are doing, we're working on that now, trying to get people who are interested in groups that are interested. Francis Urea is going to be... Francisco? Francisco, yes. yeah, that's right. You've had him on your sh yep, show before. Yep, we've had him here, and he's a... Uh, by the way, we've not only had him here, he has yeah. a birthday coming up oh, in September. okay. And he said he would like to come back, back. to the city of Revere well, and be on Revere TV. Good, because he's going to be the honorary... He's going to lead the parade, yeah. that's right. So, so we'd love to have him <laughs> back on here. Francisco, thank you for coming on. Right, thanks. So tell us something He's about the awesome. organization of the Columbus State Parade. Okay, well, yeah, well, <laughs> what we do is we try to get groups and bands to participate. And if you need to, if you would like to be a part of that, you can call me at the chamber, 617-569-5000, or you can in, in email me at info at eastbostonchamber.org. And we'll try to get applications out to you. We'd love to be, have you be a part of it. It was pretty exciting to help Revere with theirs last year. So, And we'll be helping again in for your second year. Sherry, you've got to help me on this one. Okay. You, do you know Mr. Cataldo? Which one is Cataldo? The dentist Gennaro, I believe his first name is. I'm not sure. Probably. Well, if I got it wrong, I apologize. Okay. But Gennaro Cataldo, who's yeah. a fabulous gentleman in yeah. the city of Revere and a fabulous dentist, <laughs> had me ride on his old Cadillac. Oh, that's nice. So, Gennaro, thank you, and I hope we do it again in oh, East very Boston. Nice. Good for you. That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> right. Now, besides talking about all these things, Sherry, well. pick on some thing that you else would like to talk about that you have on this sheet here. Okay, so let's see. We did write a couple things down to get Go ahead. I to think remind you wrote ourselves. Some things down too. Let's see. Yeah, we we covered a lot. I know I talked about some of my awards that I received in Toastmasters, right. and Talk I us about the awards. I'll I tell to you, you told me a story about uh, Mayor Menino. Uh, uh, oh, one of the sp that's okay. I'll, I'll I'll what I'll talk about is uh, that I was the district governor for Toastmasters District Thirty One, which covers Eastern Massachusetts and Rhode Island. So it's all the way up to the North Shore over to Wista, Worcester, and then the Cape as well as Rhode Island. And that was pretty amazing. So you learn a lot of leadership skills as well as public speaking skills. And all, then you can also get awards. I received the Area Governor Award, the Lieutenant Governor of Marketing Award. I received the Lieutenant Governor, Lieutenant Governor of Education and Training Award. I also received the District Governor Award. And the, 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 I also received the Excellence in Leadership Award, which is pretty phenomenal. It was, so it's a great opportunity to <laughs> earn awards, <laughs> learn how to speak well and communicate and lead. That's good. Now you've got to tell me what you want to do in the future. What, 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 okay. what, are, what are your future plans? Or what would you like to see done yourself? I think I would like to have a TV show about public speaking here in Revere well, Studio. I'm sure how about Revere, that? Revere TV <laughs> can certainly accommodate you, believe <laughs> you me. So I hope they get a hold of this, Sherry, and they put you on the air here. That would be great. I would, I'd like that opportunity. Right. And if you have any scrolls or anything that you have, upcoming events, let them know here at Revere TV. They'll put it on for you, like they do on the screen. Thank you. And they'll give you the publicity and the works that you need. Appreciate that. That's so great. Keep going, Sherry. we still got a few minutes left. <laughs> oh, want we keep talking? Definitely. Okay. <laughs> so go ahead. Talk about whatever you like. Sure. I'm waiting. Okay. <laughs> we talked about your awards. I received the 2013 Alumni Award from North Shore Community College last year. That was pretty impressive. 
was it was I was at the I went to the commencement and <laughs> it was pretty amazing. I got to you know be in front of everybody, but they didn't have t time in the agenda for me to speak. So it was a little odd that I, as a speaker, I didn't get a chance to say thank you. But <laughs> okay, here's something we didn't talk about that just struck me. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> We met again at the Don Orion home, am I correct? That's correct. We just had the, the Valentine's, Valentine's party. Yep, Don Orion's one of our members. And one of the great DJs that I didn't know who that he was even a DJ. Smoking Joe. Smoking Joe yeah, from the Matola Post right here. He did here a great job. He did yeah. a great job. He was funny. He had them all dancing, not only yeah. on the floor, but he had them right. dancing on the ceiling. And, and not only that, but you won, you won the raffle. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I want the raffle you want the because raffle. it's raftory. <laughs> 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 oh, I, speaking of that, I wanted to t mention about members as Mohegan Sun joined our East Boston Chamber. So we're supporting them, and we have a forum. Well, well, excuse me, excuse sure, me. I course. hate to interrupt you. No, now. that's okay. East Boston voted against the casino coming to, to East Boston, but the Chamber of Commerce in East Boston is working with Mohegan? We always supported Mohegan Sun and Suffolk Downs. Suffolk Thank Downs you. is a member Thank of you. us. Yes, the chamber has always supported this project, and yes. It's a shame you, you people didn't share part of it. Uh, you had to go the other way. But we have it here. But we have people that are going to be able to. We're having a, a forum for our East Boston Chamber members so that they can have the business partnership. And we'll be doing that on Tuesday. So hopefully we can get folks to come out. And I, actually, I think it's, we are pretty booked on that one. So yeah, we're trying to do the business partnership. With these person. Yeah. Now, how do you personally, personally, if you w want to s tell us, feel about the casino not coming to East Boston? Because the money that would be coming into your town? I think I'm not at liberty to really discuss that oh. portion of it. So, okay. Because it's, it's a tricky situation. But like I said, we, we, do, we do support it. We've always supported it. We've come out saying that we support it. We have written uh, letters in, in the Times that we support the casino and we support Suffolk Downs, our member, and we also support Mohegan Sun. Right. Now, let me ask you, of course, Mayor Marty Walsh is now the new mayor of, of, for Boston. Sure. Who's in charge of East Boston? I mean, I know Marty Walsh is, but... Marty I mean, Walsh is in charge. But, next, but when he's not around there, who's... It's Marty Walsh. He's... It's just... See, East Boston is a neighborhood of, of Boston. Oh. It doesn't have its own... It, it doesn't have its own. It has a zip code, but it's not its own entity, even though people tend to think That's that what it's, just, it, yeah, it's not. Like, it's like the north end, the south end, and the west end, and, and East Boston. Right. It just has its own name. You just don't call North Boston, you don't... Do you know what I mean? It's yeah, some people say to me when they see me on the street, why don't you put the mayor of East Boston on? That's Marty Walsh. Well, you can do that. He is Boston. He's Boston. Mayor Moss... He's <laughs> mayor Walsh on your show. Put him on as mayor of East Boston? Well, you could put him on as mayor of Boston. He's the mayor of Boston as a whole. Though. He covers his Boston, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. by the way, i got to tell you, he's doing a great job out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I could see that. Uh -huh. Now, tell me some of your hobbies, what you like as your okay, hobby. Okay, I like to crochet. <laughs> I like to run, believe it or not. I do run, and I walk, and I ride bike, and you know, I have a lot of How would of you like to do us a favor as a young, young lady, to do our senior center a favor? We have a lady there. Her name is Mrs. Lowell's Diamond. Yeah. And I've mentioned this a hundred times, and this will probably be the hundred and first. <laughs> she, she needs hats for the troops overseas. Oh, wow. In the cold weather, that half helmets. Okay. And we need yarn, dark color yarn, oh, okay. any color yarn. Yeah. If you know anybody in East Boston, even though it's not Revere, if they don't have it in East Boston, sure. tell the people out there to donate their yarn. Oh, that's to a good idea. That's a great idea. At yeah. 25 Winthrop Avenue. Okay, I'll, I'll get the word out with that, too. Yeah. I'll, I'll be happy to do that. That would be good, Sherry. Because Matter of fact, I have some socks from a member, so maybe I can give you some socks. Not you socks. They're new socks. No, they're brand new socks. I have some socks that I can... I'm going to be donating to the home, but I may be able to give yeah, you some, give too. Yeah, give them to the veterans, too. Sure, I, I could do that. That would be fine. Come Absolutely. over to the senior center, drop them sure, off, whatever sure. you want to do. And sometimes when you're not too busy, <laughs> join us for lunch. Yeah, I love, that. I love doing that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> You'd be the youngest senior we ever had. <laughs> 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 so... What kind of move? Okay, we talked about hobbies, but what kind of movies do you like to watch? Movies. <laughs> yeah, besides Shirley Temple. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I. <laughs> I always put you on the spot. Yeah, yeah, sort of. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, do you like action movies, romance movies? I do like action movies. I like romance. I like comedies. Do like, you? Yeah, I'm, I'm a theater bug, you know. So I love all that. It's the minute you looked at me, you realized you like comedies. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you are funny. Yeah, no, you always no, have a good, you have a joke of the day all the time. I mean, you got me good earlier, so <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> what from laughing or from crying? <laughs> from your both. Okay, your daughter. Mm -hmm. Let's get back to your little family. Oh, she doesn't Did like that. when I talk about her, but okay. No, no, we're going to talk about yeah. her. She goes to what school? Neither. She goes to the Wakefield Vocational School. Oh, uh, she's learning cosmetology. This is a phenomenal school. What they, is she learning there? She's learning cosmetology. That was her first choice. Second choice was, her second choice was culinary arts, and then her third choice was plumbing, believe it or not. Because Sabrina's the type that if you show her something, she can learn it. She's a kinesthetic learner. She learns by doing, she learns when you show her. She's not the type that can sit through a class and just, you know, it's not, she's not going to compute if, if, you know, that, that's not her way of learning. But she's a kinesthetic learner, and so I'm so happy that she's going to have a skill. She can maybe open up Sabrina's salon when she gets out of school. No, that's good. Not in school today, which is not like the school when I went right, to school where right. we had books and stuff. They right. have the tablets and the computers. Oh, yeah, the smart, smart boards. <laughs> what do they call them, smart boards? Smart boards, yeah. But they like tablets? Well, that's on the, that's, well, tablets are, yeah, handheld. The smart board is, is kind of like a... Computer? Well, it's like a blackboard now, but, but it's not a blackboard anymore. They don't use chalk. Now they use, it's, everything's computerized. Yeah, but when they yeah. want to take a book, excuse me, a book home for their homework, yeah, like, they don't yeah. take books home now. Well, my daughter's taking books home. <laughs> well, they still they don't have, I wish they did have one of those, but not in her school yet, so we'll see. <laughs> right, because uh, I got to tell you. I wish somebody would help me with the computer because oh. I am the dumbest of the dumb. No, I got to admit not. that. But I am when it comes to computers. I think I, you'd be fine at it. You'd be you fine. You'd be good at yeah. it. Yeah. Well, we have a a school here, Revere High School, is going to donate some students. Good. And I used to work loosely when I say <laughs> donate students to teach yourself, folks. How nice. to work the tablets, and I think they yeah. said they're going to do ten of them, and that would be nice because that would be know, great. Um, yeah, because. To have the young teaching the old, and let me tell you, thank God we, the young do teach the old because we learn from the young. See, we've gone as far as we can, really, and it's the young people that bring up the future of this country and of the world. Well, you, you taught us, it. so it's, it comes about as reciprocity. Right. If you relied on the old people, we'd be still, still riding on a chariot now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. No, but we would. I mean, progress comes from the new young people. Yeah. It doesn't come from the old folks like us. The inventions that they have today, they have a smart watch now, not a oh, smartphone. Really? Yeah, I've seen that on TV. Mm. Like you were dialing a number or, or emailing or texting. <laughs> yeah. You could do that on a little watch today. Oh. Yep, you don't have to do all well, that. I think things. Batman started that when he, he, went, he would go, when you talk to his watch? Yeah. He used to talk to Dr. Tracy. Yeah, didn't they start that? Yeah. I mean, it seems like but, it's so but, generous, uh, ingenious, but it was well before our time. But that was a dream. No, We left that uh, nobody's going to go to the moon. Nobody's <laughs> going to be talking on a watch. <laughs> when I was a kid, we, you know, we, we were lucky we had little transistors you could put in your ear. Yeah, yeah. We were not far ahead of time. Yeah, but I think Barry and I used to use walkie-talkies at your house. <laughs> Did you? Walkie-talkies. Those little radios. Oh, yeah, that was yeah. the newest uh, trend in Remember? those days, yeah. right? But they were only good for what? From upstairs so to many, downstairs. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. For us, that was far. Now you can talk <laughs> to the people on Mars. <laughs> no, you can talk in outer space. Oh, gosh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. GPS is a pretty phenomenal, don't you think? What's that? GPS is a pretty phenomenal, Definitely. Right? I, I need it all the it time. It talks to you. It tells all you where to go. <laughs> <laughs> I get lost you can't get time. lost anymore. It just tells you what to do next. You know, i got to tell you what I think, GPS. Every person that has Alzheimer's, really, should have a, G a GPS oh, yeah, system yeah. with them. <laughs> no, the reason is yeah. some people that walk down this cold weather that we've had, and they don't know where they are. Oh, that's to death. Not so much out here, but out in out Minnesota and uh, Idaho and those yeah. places where it gets really, really oh, cold. That's a good point. We that's can find them, and we can find them. Yeah, but, and uh, there was a couple of people that got uh, in a snow avalanche out in Colorado that oh, were buried in the snow. Oh, gosh. They found them because of the... Uh, oh, wow. What do you call that thing? Yeah, the yeah, GPS, phone, the cell phone. Cell phone. But cell some phone. of them have GPS system yeah. in them. They dug them out of the snow. Wow. As long as they're not more than five or six feet buried, mm -hmm. they can find them, they said. So right. that's pretty good. Sherry, we got about two minutes oh. left, as you can see. Take a minute and a half and wrap it up. I want to bring back the Revere Beach the way it was. Remember back in the day? Yep, we used to go on the rides. Mrs. Cook used to take us every Friday. We'd go down to bowling down on the beach the there. The Hepadrome, yep. Hepadrome, and I want to go back to those days. Those, that, you just, it's just, it was phenomenal. 
We need commerce on the beach. I the remember. beach is beautiful, but we need shops yeah. and we need excitement. <laughs> we used to take you and Barry on a little, uh, those little buggy rides. Yeah, the buggy Sandy's, rides. I think it was Sandy's. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. the, yeah. We used Missed to it. go on there. So can we bring that, can you do something about that, please? Will you bring that back? That's my mayor going to have to do that. <laughs> and let me tell you, my mayor does about everything. Oh, Mr. Rizzo is awesome. We love right. Mayor Rizzo, yeah. Well, Sherry, I guess we got about a minute left, and I'm going to use okay. it up for you. Thank you. I want to thank you for coming thank you on for, the show. I would love to have you. No, love being thank you here. for yeah. being a good veteran of oh. the community. Uh, you're an excellent community <laughs> veteran. Thank you, Sherry. You are God too. bless you on all your endeavors. Thank you. God bless the city of Revere and the people of Revere. But, <laughs> but most of all, God bless the great country, the United States of America. And Revere, thank you for listening. Until the next time, we have a special guest. Mm -hmm.